It has been a long time since I've gone ahead and used the demon team, and I mean, that's mainly due to being scared of facing this team here, the Archangel team, because, I mean, there's just not much you can do in some of these matchups, but we're here, we've got the Mile Grace on our Meliodas, so hoping we can see some really, really good numbers from him. Uh, let's go for this one here. I'm going to go for the block on you 100%, and then I guess we can just throw this one out. Definitely want to try and get rid of the Mael as soon as possible. I think the Margaret and the... Mael are definitely the biggest threats on this team right now. Light Elizabeth, you guys know what I think of the Light Elizabeth. She isn't the craziest in the world. I uh, was hoping this team would kind of help her out a little bit, but has really just shown how good the Revive Elizabeth is and how well she's really just holding up to the meta and how well she's stuck around for, because there's definitely parts of the Light Elizabeth that are better than the Revive Elizabeth, obviously her stats, stuff like that, but Man, that revive, being able to keep my L to the point where you can either rush his ult and just do insane amounts of damage, it's too valuable. It is way, way too valuable. Um, when it comes to backline, we are rocking in the Ominous Nebula Zeldris. Let's see, can I... If I go something like this, get the extra in stats, go you and then you, that'll have encroach on my L. And then we should be good to go. There we go, and then I will go ahead and inspect our stats after this turn. Oh, actually, we don't get the encroach, do we? Because it's... Oh, no, we still get the encroach. Man, only just able to kill with Asterosa. That is, with the COVID action card, the tentacle... No, yeah, the tentacle blade is the name of the card. Uh, that's crazy. We did have Sunspot on us, so I'll give him that. I'll give him that, but... Man, oh, man. I mean, with my old dead as well, we're going to lose most of our stats that we're getting from the darkness, but... We still winning. We still winning. And with the fact that we're going to be seeing Margaret everywhere, it is pretty much going to be a must run or a must have to put the Chandler in the team. Uh, I mean, we're going to go for the same thing again on this turn. Uh, who do I want to? I mean, yeah, we can we can just go for the. Hmm, why not? We'll use the AOE. I have faith that we'll draw some more melee cards in the next turn, and then we can kind of get his thing going. Man, I I had a feeling that this guy was going to be an evasion food user and. I should have stuck with it. I should have gone ahead. And, I mean, we get more stats now, but I definitely would have rather have had the block out there. Sweet. AoE me. I can use my AoE. Tamiel stands up could definitely stop us from going ahead and being able to kill. Now, we want to see the Sunspot. Sunspot AoE, please. That's a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a little bit scary. Man, is there anything we can do here? I mean, he did use the Breath of Bless. I can block and just pray that we're going to be fine uh and then why not just try and increase the stats as much as possible so block on chandler have to hope that margaret doesn't have another breath of less card and then we should win this i mean this would could all have been avoided if i just didn't go ahead and use the block card as my first card and i mean if we can live through this turn we can kind of go crazy with melee but oh no he's using the margaret card we've lost this Oh no, we've already got lost. I mean, the Archangel team is kind of made to counter the Demon team, so I was kind of expecting this to happen. We didn't really get to show the Melee Mile Grace, but once again, we could live this. You never know. That could be a charge card that he's using in his hand because he's taken a while to go ahead and do his thing. No, no, wishful thinking. Am I right? <laughs> At least we get to see a Tarmiel nuke. It's always cool and all. Sounds funny. Are we before that? We get the true magic. And then Tarmiel wipes us. There is no way we live through this. Oh yeah, we let we let Melly go crazy now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? Do I just spare Melly cards? Do I just spare Melly cards? Uh maybe go for something like this. I have faith Melly will completely get rid of my L. He lives? The Archangel team is too strong. The Archangel team is way too strong. And then Tamiel's gonna live this for sure. What do we do? What do we... It doesn't stand a chance. Melee didn't lifesteal to full HP because of the damage reduction. We couldn't get enough numbers out. This is... <laughs> I should... Okay, now I know. Even if we have the true magic or dark magic or whatever the kind of passive skill he has is, we still have to throw extra cards into someone to try and get the kill, even with a level 2 single target. I mean, any other team, we're going to easily be able to one-tap, but the Archangels, man, they're, they're a different breed at this point in the meta. That charge is going to do nothing, man. 
Uh, what have we got? Like this, I guess? Like this? That's that's gonna kill, right? That's gonna be able to kill Margaret Ludo still. That'll get the extra darkness stacks up. You have Encroach now and you die. Sweet, okay. We're bringing this one back slowly but surely. Oh man, that one easily killed her as well. With her gone, Myle's going to feel a lot less strong. Melly's back to full HP. We have Esterosa ult, so he's forced to go for the Esterosa now. What a Nanashi has ult removal and card reduction, if I'm not mistaken. Does he have the ult removal at level one as well, or is it one of those level two ones that are kind of bad? Uh, let's see, Nanashi. Let's let's bring up his kit. Let's bring up his kit. Uh, card deletion. Oh no, he has despair. Okay, is Esterosa gonna live this for me? Is Esterosa gonna live this for me? Oh, not the second one. Not the second. That's fine. Uh, we don't. We have the full three. Buffs and Amelia. We only have one. Uh. I mean, why not, right? We can go you. You. Get the Chandler ultimate as well. And then. Go for the single target. Oh, should I have just gone for Tamiel? Because I feel like the damage reduction may be able to save my L. Nah, there's no way, right? The. <laughs> what I once called the king of damage. Purgatory Meliodas. I can't even do enough to kill. Oh, with a level two. Bro was on like a third of his HP. This one's getting so drawn out. All because we're just struggling to kill. Now we have the AoE card. We can get the debuff out first and we can do a little bit more. We have been missing that, so I will cut Meli some slack. He gets like an extra 20% with that one. Gonna get a little bit of health back there. Oh, we attack him again? Uh, nah, nah, nah. Of course not. Okay. Okay, sweet. Uh, you're blocked. Yeah, we we got this. We got this in the bag. Sweet. That's my old dead. I mean, we came through in the end. It was very drawn out. I thought we were going to lose, but we actually did it. Thank God, man. And I mean, if it wasn't for the my old grace, we wouldn't have been able to kill him there. But uh, this one's a bit tricky. Is he going to be running evasion food again? What was his CC? I didn't really pay. It was 350, wasn't it? So surely using some kind of CC food. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that play there. Let's see. We got the... Okay, yeah, I didn't think he was using any kind of evasion food. That stops rank up. That stops all that good stuff. Uh, attack disable. But he can, of course, still attack disable us with the Merlin if he plays it right. I'm sure all you guys know how to use the Merlin against this team. It is all right though, because we will still be able to get a little bit of value out of the Chandler counters onto Merlin. Yeah, it's okay. So it's a real player who knows what he's doing. I mean, we're gonna get a couple darkness stacks from all the counters coming out, but and we can get the block effect. He doesn't have cleanse, which is a lifesaver that we actually got that card there. Another counter, sweet. Mine's lost around a third of her HP. You've got the cleanse, so we can go like this. You. And then I will just go ahead and get rid of you. Sweet. Uh, no way they can stop this. Even if Mel was to use all three of the cards in the turn and proc her full passive, it just stops ult reduction from... Or it just stops the gaining of ultimate gauge, so it doesn't actually stop the ultimate itself. Uh, yeah, I don't think there was any other way I could have probably played that turn a little bit better. Maybe could have tried to merge Esterosa cards or just gone ahead and get rid of them, but that's fine. Attack Disable coming out. Uh, here's where we're looking a little less well off. We should have to pray that with all the darkness we've built up and with the Chan, the Holy Relic, the Godly Relic, we have the ability to survive this. They have talked about a kind of Holy Relic 2 or an upgrade to the Holy Relic coming out. I'd like to see how good Chandler's going to look after that because arguably the strongest holy relic in the game it is just a weaker version of the terry holy relic i'll say that but definitely a stronger character than terry and with the fact that he's obviously demon race and he can be run alongside this team he is a terry bond would be cool would we even get an upgrade to terry's holy relic because that kind of stuff only happens with the collabs and the reruns but if they're not they're not going to do any more king of fighters or at least we don't think any more king of fighters collabs man this is this is so boring. We're just going to have slow matches in today's video. 
Okay, cool. You got your growth rolls. What's he going to do now? We finally don't have our counter up. He's, he's just going to delete our melee. It's as simple as that. He's just going to delete melee and then we lose. I mean, yeah, you can still use stuff like this. I don't know why people would still rock this team with the Archangels being around. Margaret is everywhere. This is the one match out of the 10 he's played today that he's actually going to win because we're using the demon team. So silly, man. Maybe if Chandler was to have an upgrade to his Relic, he could have some form of cleanse. Would that make him too broken? Maybe if Esther Rosa was to have some kind of passive, would give him a cleanse? Bro is so set on ruining this match, making this match sufferable, that he didn't even go ahead and use the melee. What are you, what are you trying to do? I'm so confused. I'm just gonna keep getting rid of these. I'm honestly just gonna, at this point, I'm gonna cut to a point where there's a big decision making play in the match and then we can continue from there. Garbage, bro. Absolute garbage. Man, I might as well get myself a pillow and put myself back to bed. That was so goddamn boring. Nice, really nice high CC player. Ooh, and we can get the level two Chandler. We can get the level two Chandler. I like that. Uh, I think the problem is we're going to take a lot of damage. It's going to be really hard to kill him with this team here. Obviously, he doesn't have the damage reduction that we dealt with with the other Archangel team, but two turns in, this Elizabeth is going to have her full passive. She's going to give the stats the extra 10, 15% once she reaches max stats for the three turns. We're going to struggle here. The fact that we couldn't get the block off turn one as well is kind of annoying. Would we be better off just going for an... Would we be better off just trying to go ahead and kill someone? Is that the go? I think it might be. I think we could go for the taunt and then try and go for the kill. Even if we don't end up killing Margaret, it at least gives us the most amount of life steal back. So melee should be alright. I probably could have gone single target and then AoE first for like full HP, but I feel like this is a little bit better of a play. Come on, get some crits for me, my guy. Get some more crits. Oh my lord. This is why Mael helps out so much in the fact that if that was Sariel, we would have done no damage. Bro, still half HP probably. Still half HP. Now we're just going to have to let Chandler do his thing. Let Chandler carry us, build up our darkness stacks, and then hopefully he does enough AoEs for us to kind of throw out another dark magic attack with Meliodas. Two Mael cards? Surely they're not both AoE though. Ooh, he's, he's getting awfully close to that encroach distance. Phantom might do a little bit of damage with his counter. Lock skill effects. He can just cleanse that, so... He can just cleanse that. Uh... I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking. That's that's definitely enough to get rid of my L. I'm just wondering if we kind of overshot it on my L. And then... Is that going to be enough to kill my L? Surely it is, right? Hard matchup. A really hard matchup. Uh, he's going to lose all those darkness stacks in the next turn. Uh, we have two block effects. That's something. We can try and figure out a play depending on what he does. That's a charge AoE. That's another breathless. Okay, I'm extra confident we could probably even go just for the one block on my L. Elizabeth's is going to be doing a little bit of damage with the AoE. Uh, this is a tricky one. Oh, don't tell me we lose Esterosa. Yeah, we 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 need Esterosa to be able to bring this one back. Can we even though? Like that's a thing. Something like this may be the go. The fact that our kind of Hail Mary or our you know last resort thing being the Meliodas passive doesn't end up killing. And my Meliodas is as max as you can get. The 12 million box AC buff, which I mean, only really works for HP and defense, but like I have all the other stuff that you get from that actual uh, constellation, and he still struggles to kill. 15% max cosmetics. It's my L too strong. My L too strong. And so many people I've been seeing tier lists of like best festival, and they're putting Purgatory Meliodas above my L. I don't really see it, man. I don't really see it. Uh, the buff card was still smart there because he does get the extra passive stack from Margaret, which will still allow him to one tap with my L. Yeah, we lose though, that's fine though. I think in those matchups, I just really have to focus on getting rid of someone on the team that isn't my Elkus. 
Yeah, we've seen it that he is just way too tanky to go ahead and try and kill. Chandler's stance, definitely nice. Uh, lock and then maybe even just another, maybe attack card into Valley. I probably should have gone ahead and done the flood card uh, into someone else first because he might have been using evasion food, but that's fine. That still works. And then that one into melee. Okay. We're definitely going to be seeing the Chandler Taunt turn one. He could attack us a little bit though. Get us our true magic. Surely we can kill Chandler, right? I know he has his Holy Relic, so he's also going to be very, very tanky. But no level 3 AoE. Having the stat reduction is so helpful, which we lose in the My L team. Bro is taking damage. Bro is taking mad damage. Okay, true magic. Uh, we should be good to even just AoE and kill Melee. No stance there. Yeah, sweet. This is this is what we like to see. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and double Dragon Claw just so we can get as many Darkness stacks up as possible. I don't want Estorosa or Melee accidentally. Well, we can't attack with Melee because that'd be his card, but uh, we don't want anyone accidentally dying. And then we can just see how much this level 1 AoE does. You see, he's still, he's still strong. Completely wiping the team with just a level 1 AoE. Anything that isn't the Archangels is going to destroy. Maybe Esterosa Holy Relic just needs to be he disables my old passive. A thought? It'd put Demon Team on top again and it'd be a must, must make. I'd kind of like that. It's been it's been too long since I've been able to use the Demon Team and have them be definitive top one. Actually, it's been too long. It's been like three weeks probably, but you guys get what I mean. I'm a big fan of the Demon Team. But there we go. That about does it for today's video. Going to be showing off a couple of the other super, super big DPSs with the Mayel Grace. Uh, I feel like some characters are going to be really, really important on. The biggest example of that being Kusok. Um, and the thing about Kusok is, if we go ahead and inspect mine here, unfortunately I don't have the Holy Relic made. So I'll get that done sometime within the next day or two, and then we'll also show off the Mayel, but we still have other characters that we can show off with the Grace before that. But once again, that is about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.